Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. There's been a ton of people asking me how I've got my defense so high and how other people have got their defense so high. And I thought I had explained this well enough in some of my other videos, but I guess I'll go over it again in this one. So if you guys want to stick around to get some tips on how to boost your defense higher, this is the video for you. Um, let's start with buildings because actually let's start with research okay so basic research for a trap is going to get you a little bit of defense mainly it's going to get you resistance and some other key things that you need so defense research is a must for a trap for any trap usually I haven't heard of a trap that does not use defense tree at least so this is going to get you a little bit of defense. It gives you a tiny bit here, 131% right there. And I'm not going to go into exact numbers on how much everything gives, but I am going to throw some numbers in here. I'm not just I'm not going to go in depth on that. And then you got all your resistances down here. And that's going to help you quite a bit because resistance takes off their total amount of whatever they have. So if they have a uh, troop attack here, how much they get? 20% total resistance. So if they have a thousand attack, they have 800 left. Basically, that's what a resistance does. So defense tree gives you a tiny bit of defense, and that's going to boost it a little bit. Then you got uh, crafting tree. This is going to help you a lot. It not for the cores, not for the crafting part, but simply because of the fourth gem slot. And this is just for this setup, guys. If you guys are running something else that doesn't require the fourth gym slot, uh, keep doing what you're doing. But this is for the tier two, tier four setup. The fourth gems help a lot, and that's going to give you. If you have the rainbow gems, that's 35 percent per piece. If you have the elite defense gem, that's just 25 percent per per piece. But that is a lot of defense, and that's going to help quite a bit. And then you have, um, let's see, uh, Wild Combat boosts the Wild Defense a little bit. And then you have, the if you're using Strategics, you have the uh, Strategic Troop Defense, and that's going to bump it up a little bit for your Strategic Troops. And then you have the Combat Tree, which everybody has the Combat Tree, and that gives you Troop Defense overall for regular Troops, which is 131%, and it's the same for the other ones if you have them maxed out. And I don't think any of the other ones give defense. Restorative might give some kind of defense. No. Okay, so as for research, that's about all the defense you're going to get out of research. Okay, so let's go over buildings now. Obviously, barracks are going to give you defense for just building them. At 21, barracks give you 10% defense each one. And if you have over 20 barracks, that's 200% or more defense just off the buildings. And then if you take them to 21, I mean 22, 23, or 24, that's 1% each time you bump it up. So that's another 20%, 40%, 60%. Depends if you take them higher than 22 Okay, so barracks are going to give you a nice little jump, well over 200% if you have 20 more barracks. Okay, so let's go over the altar. This is going to give you a lot of defense. If you're at 21, it's only going to give you like uh, 68, I think. But at 22, I get 81% defense just off the altar if you keep it active. So I get 81% defense from that. And if you get it to 23 or 24, you'll get even more. So 95% on the defense and then 117 at 24. So if you can get it there, that would be great. That would help you out a little bit. Not too much, but that is a little bit more defense. Not required, though. Okay, so that's about it for buildings other than ore boosts. So I'm going to go over ore boosts a little bit. Barracks can give you some defense. I've, I've seen it about as high as 13 at max on anybody, and that's 
after you dump a ton of orbs into one barracks and you got to do that for every one of them so I'll, if you have orbs I wouldn't suggest doing uh, barracks first so because they don't ma they only go up about 13 at max after you boost them to like look 20 something anyways let's go over the ones you do want to boost if you have some orbs the walls give you a great amount of defense and if you don't get the defense there's a chance that some trap defense will, will help your uh, war breaks a little bit more but I've got a 35 percent uh, defense boost off my walls and it can go up to 40 45 percent somewhere around in there maybe even higher if you get your luck high enough but the highest I've seen is around 45 percent so that's going to give you a nice little defense boost Another thing that you can boost for defense would be Embassy. I've got a 40% defense boost on mine, and it can go a little bit higher. It's going to stay about the same as the walls, around 45 at max, maybe a little higher if your luck is insanely high. But that's about the highest it's going to get. It's not going to go to like 100% on each one. At least, not cheaply. Okay, so as for defense, that's about all. The the altar has a chance at getting defense, but it is a pain to get it to land on it. 5% is all I've got out of it, and my luck is 9. Most of the time, you're going to get range attack. Defense is harder to get on the altar, but it does give a little bit. So if you have enough leftover orbs, go for the altar. So as for orbs go, that's about it that gives defense. Barracks, walls, embassy, and altar. The other ones can give some decent boosts that you can use, like the watchtower. It gives you some enemy, I mean, troop attack debuff. And that'll help a little bit. I think these will go into, like, the 90s. So if you can get it that high, go for it. Mine's only a luck 7, and I got a 35% boost out of it, so it goes a lot higher. And if that's something you want to go for, that, that'll help a little bit. Uh, these other ones don't give defense. It, most of these give attack or some kind of health or defense debuff. So if you guys have a ton of orbs you're not using, you can go for those if you want to. But they're not really beneficial for the defense part. Okay, another way to get some defense is VIP. VIP isn't really the best way to try to get a good defense jump. VIP is quite expensive. If you have the daily bonus club, you can level up a little bit easier, but it is still going to take quite a bit to get really high in VIP. Right now I'm 22, and you really only need to be around 17. But let's see what boost I have at 22. At 22, I have a 75% defense bonus, and that's going to help a little bit. 23 you get a 100% so 25% jump from there to there but it's 300 million VIP so as I was saying it's a little bit expensive that'll take what is it $200 packs to get there maybe more depends or just wait a month on the daily bonus club and you'll be able to get there and then 24 gives a 50% jump which isn't that bad but it still costs a lot to get there and then 25, if you ever got there, I wouldn't try to get defense out of VIP, but if you could get there, 2 billion, and that's 100% jump from 24. So that'll help a little bit, but I won't be going for that. Okay, so another great way to get some defense is the workshop. If you have enough power essence and raw power and stuff, you can upgrade your gear. And Frost, if you can get it to plus 10, that's another 25% defense on each one. And if you're using the Frost Imperial Mix with one kunai, you're using 5 pieces of Frost. So that's 125% defense. Now the workshop itself, I would not pay, take it past to uh, 17. Because if you go past 17, it's really kind of pointless unless you're going to upgrade cores. So for a trap, you really only need 17. That's when gear max is out at 10. So if you go past that, all you can do is upgrade cores higher than 2. So I would only go to 17. That's really all it needs. 
and after 17 it gets quite expensive to upgrade this thing anyways so yeah each uh, frost piece that you upgrade with this will get 25 percent defense at level 10 so if that's something you guys can do that'll give you some defense I wouldn't even bother trying to do the Imperial or the Kunai because it gives a health bonus instead of defense which for this setup is not going to help you all that much. It's basically just going to get debuffed. Unless you're another setup then you guys can go for this if you're using health but for this one for the tier 2 tier 4 setup you don't want health you want defense. So that's a good 125% or more defense. Okay. Oh, that was a rally. Oh, it's on me. Oh, guys, I guess you get to see a rally while we're here. Hmm. Am I in bad gear or something? Nope. What's he in? No gear. You're gonna do great, man. Oh, you ain't getting nowhere. Let's see if my traps are redone. Close enough. Let's see how he does. He picked great timing for this, too. Oh, I'm getting a double. Nice. Wonder if they'd be mad if I switched gear on them. What'd he send? Damn. That's insulting. I don't have anti up, guys. I don't know why you're scouting. Who hits me with a 5 8 march? Well, that's an easy hero. Thanks. What are you wearing, Aaron? That is really insulting to hit me with a 5-8 march. What did he expect to accomplish? And Deanna's too. I'm, come on. Anybody else gonna try? You cancelled. I mean, at least hit me with an 8 million. Give yourself a chance. Okay, so it looks like one of them is going for it. Aaron. It's kind of funny they caught me in the middle of a video. Did you core yet? I guess they were waiting to see if I rebuilt my traps. Which I won't rebuild them. They shouldn't get it get through them. Even if they do, they won't. Probably won't burn me. Level 70 with plus 5 Bacchus didn't even burn me. With full defense debuff. Let's see how they do. You have some slow fillers. What are you putting on, Aaron? Please be the new cores. I want to see how they do. Ah, plus five Bacchus. That probably won't get nowhere either. Come on, eight million march. I like my kills. What? What is that? What is that ho hoping to do? Yep. This is uh, 
probably pretty embarrassing. How'd that one do? Hmm. Let's see how they were gemmed. I'm going to guess full defense debuff. Eh, not the defense debuff I was expecting, but that does give defense as a uh, set bonus. See how the other guy was gemmed with the insulting 5-8 march. Full defense debuff. War breakers. Anybody else gonna try? Okay, well, while they figure out what they're gonna do, I'm going back to what I was doing. So, I went over workshop gear. Your main boost that you are gonna get for defense is gonna be your skill tree. So, let's scroll through this real quick. I went over this if you guys wanna hear more details about it. This is going to be your biggest boost for defense. You got your troop defense right here, 13%. Then you got your second troop defense, 87% right there. And you got your debuffs. Now this is a massive defense boost. This does not look like a massive defense boost. This ha this doesn't even apply to the altar. I don't know why it says altar. You don't need an altar for this to work. But this actually has kind of a hidden boost, I guess. It's like a 300% defense jump. So if you max that out, your defense is going to change a little bit. Okay, so moving on down, we've got another giant defense jump. 350%. And that's majority of your defense is going to come from skill tree gems and your gear. Okay, now let's go over gear. Right now I am in full defense and my defense is like 4,500, 4,400, some, somewhere around in there. But that is because I've got all golden, frost, and imperial. This gives, how much does that give without the gems? Okay, so imperial mantle gives me a... 220 boost on defense. Frost helmet gives 260. Frost feet give 210. Which the Imperial Greaves are better for defense. I just don't have enough pieces to build gold Imperial Greaves. Uh, the weapon gives 260. And then each wielder gives 260. And then you add gems into those. And it's really going to depend on what gems you have. I'm using pretty basic gems. I just have a couple rainbows. Now, these are the most basic gems you can get. You can get these out of the bazaar, $5 packs, Little Infernos, stuff like that. They come in some odd boxes. I, I don't know the name of all of them, but you can get these out of bazaar and stuff like that. Now, if you want to boost your defense even higher than what mine is, it can go much higher. Frost Imperial can get over 5,000% defense. And to be able to do that, you're going to need Aegis, uh, Bewarks, and all Rainbow Gems. And then you're going to use an Aegis, a Bewark, a Defense Gem, and a Rainbow. And that's going to be the highest possible defense you can get out of gems without having the gem set bonus. Which I wouldn't suggest doing the gem set bonus just for that. It's pretty crappy. But with an Aegis and a Bulwark and then a Defense Gem and then a Rainbow, that's going to be what? 70, 95, and then 130% defense just off that piece. And then times that by 7. And that's what you get out of a full set if you have all those gems. Which is not required, but you can get this defense much, much higher. As far as defense go, that's about all you can do to really boost it up. Your main 
main amount of defense is going to come from your gear, your gems, and your skill tree. Everything has to be right. Everything plays a part. If you do it right, everything can be boosted towards defense. And if you get it set up right, you can boost any stat significantly. Like if you went all hospitals and then did your orb boost for health and then went for your VIP for health and then did all your gems for health and gear for health, you could get over 4,000% health if you wanted to. You could do that for attack. You could do that for debuffs. You just have to be set up right. Everything has to be correct and you can boost anything in an insane amount. Let's see what my defense is exactly because I didn't know. What is it? Okay, so individual is 265 because I didn't do the individual on my uh, skill tree, which makes that 312. But that's just going to get debuffed now, so it don't really matter. Okay, so my defense is 4,249. And then you add that and it's over 4,500. So, you can get this much higher if you have the proper gems, which costs money. I, I wouldn't pay just to have those gems. But if you get them over time in packs that you need, go ahead and put them in there because it is a nice defense jump. And I can get my defense even higher if I take out those gems right there and uh, plus that to 10 and get some new gems. But as far as defense go, that's about it, guys. Barracks, orb boost, hero level, uh, gear, gems skill tree VIP if you guys need more help on this just contact me in game join one of my trap rooms anything and I'll help you out try to get your defense up a little higher you just have to be set up right basically anyways thanks for watching the video guys hopefully this was helpful and I will see you in the next one it does not appear they're going to try again well they might there's a lot of them here Anyways, thanks for watching the video, guys. I'm going to see how this turns out.